I'm going to be doing an interview with Mr. Young from Mutant Cell Academy, which I just screwed up because I said, um, like $50,000. Good day, students. My name is Mr. Young, and today my fiance, Chrissy, is going to be ask asking me questions. Now, this portion is spit up. So her voice will be spit up as well, but uh, but pay, pay no attention. She doesn't really talk like that, but I can understand her. So, first question. Okay, the first question is, um, who you were? <laughs> who were you? Who, who was? <laughs> you wrote who you were. I I was a real badass biker guy. I, I've got really in tattoos and I wear skull shirts and now, well now I wear an eye badge and I have a skull earring, but, uh, which a lot of people almost think is kind of weird to see a guy in a wheelchair who talks the way I do with tattoos and the earring and stuff, but I used to, I used to ride a motorcycle and I used to, uh, be an animator for three different video game companies and uh, I used to make big bucks and uh, in fact by the time I was 23 years old I had, I had owned three motorcycles and my first was that uh, was 800cc Norton Commando it was a jumper so it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a factory, so I don't know if I can find a picture or whatnot, but, uh, and then I had a, um, a Suzuki Marauder 800, which was also too small for my big butt. I used to be over 400 pounds, so I was a really big boy. I'm 6.4 and was over 400 pounds. Yeah, I was a big guy. I'm, I'm still kind of chunky, but, uh, but chemotherapy has uh, seems to have knocked down my uh, my weight. Even though I'm I'm in a chair all the time now, but it's because I have to. Before I was in a chair all the time because it was my job, and I I did it all the time, and uh, my teeth are kind of rotting out of my head. So I, I don't eat like I used to either. I used to have uh, a pizza and a bag of uh, Doritos every night in college. And because uh, in college, mom and dad were paying for everything. So well, I, didn't, I didn't have to take care of myself. And uh, well, it didn't help either that I was going to school like 2,000 miles away from them. It's not what they did now, did they know? Until now. Until <laughs> now they know. But, uh, but I used to make video games. I've, uh, I've done the animation for 19 games. And I designed the box covers of two. And uh, I did the intro movie for, for, for two of them. But I actually don't know if CP Hunter Cross or got published. I'm not sure. See, I played Polaris. Right? <laughs> yeah, Polaris Snow Cross. I, I also did. And, uh, which was kind of funny. I was an animator on their, uh, their, uh, their opponent, opponent's video game. And I I entered the Snow Cross uh, one of the contest and I won a Snow Cross shirt. And I would wear that to work. My boss didn't like that too much, but it was a comfy shirt, so tag with him, I guess. But to be honest, no, I did like I did like my boss. So what's the next? Well, story? can well okay. Well, can you tell us uh, a little bit about who you are now? Well, I am now after I was diagnosed with cancer and I was put in a wheelchair, I guess who I am has changed too much. I'm still a super smart guy and uh, really into computers. And, uh, although I I have, uh, I'm not too much into video games anymore because uh, my motor skills have kind of deteriorated 
get some of my brain tumor that I had. But uh, luckily that brain tumor was not in the part of, was not in the part of my brain that uh, that controls like logic or thought. So uh, a lot of times I I seem like I talk uh, I lose track very easily because my brain is working a whole lot faster than my mouth can spit the words out. The perception of me is that oh that guy listen the way he talks and the way he's in a wheelchair he must be retarded or something. But quite frankly I'm not. If if I could uh, that is why I do the, these YouTube videos is because uh, well, I don't make any money off of them, but uh, if I could be working still, I would. And uh, I do some design work, but I, I don't get paid for it. At least I don't ask for payment. Well, speaking of YouTube, uh, what do you plan to accomplish uh, by posting the videos on YouTube? But what I mean, I'm more like, like, what do you want to do with YouTube? Right. What's your purpose? My, my goal with YouTube is... Uh, is to educate others. I know that uh, that my style of learning is very visual. I I like to see things done in front of me, and I learn how to do it that way. So I'm constantly on the lookout for other tutorials. I want. Uh, in fact, I think I'm like subscribed to like 30 different no uh, no YouTube channels that that show up uh, that show various tutorials on how to do things which I, I understand them but uh, usually they do not include all keys in them which is a large bait of my existence because I like all keys a lot and uh, because now that I'm so slow I uh all, all keys I, I use all keys a lot just so that uh, I can be almost up to speed with someone. Now, granted, if I was up against a young, a young, young guy just out of college, I don't think I would stand a chance against him. Although, in my defense, I do have, uh, I think I have a very good eye for design. And it's funny I say eye because I don't use one of them. But, uh, so yeah, this is the eye of design right here, and uh, this one not so much. Disappointment. <laughs> yes, just so you know, there is there is an eye under here. I'm not a, I'm not a freakish pirate where I'm gonna stand out in a, in a fight or something. You should have done that though. Not stab your eye out. <laughs> These little special effects. Right. You covered your eye. But, uh, so why is teaching so important to you? Teaching is important to me because all uh, the old adage of of those who can do it and those who can't teach is actually a positive thing for me. Because I used to be able to do stuff and uh, I didn't make quite a living at it, but uh, I'm just not fast enough to do it anymore. I like passing on my knowledge to, uh, to other people that could use it with my health problems and stuff. Uh, I'm not fooling myself. I'm not going to be around forever, but uh, so I just want to pass on what I do know, just so you don't think I'm making all the secrets. It's a giant rest behind me. Let me see. Uh, I was thinking, it might look like Move your hat, Bussie, move your head just a little bit to the right. Move so your hat makes it look like you have one really big one. Ha ha! It's me, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> you kind of Mario? <laughs> to me, Mario. Uh, you know, it's uh, if I try to do the impression of it's a me, Mario. They're eerily similar. I guess I don't have the awful things I used to have. I I used to do voices, and in fact, I was a Kermit. pretty funny guy. The Kermit one's pretty good. But I'm, I'm uh, since my sickness, my voice cracks and. Uh, if I raise my voice, people think I'm uh, I'm angry, which I'm not, which has certainly caused a lot of conflict with Chrissy. She thinks I'm angry a lot. 
but I'm not. <laughs> she is shaking her head yes. But no, I'm, I'm just kidding. And Those are all the questions we have for you today, Mr. Yogi. Not that again since I interrupted you. <laughs> Thank you, my assistant, Kristen. Don't make me lunch. <laughs> as always, as always, this is Mr. Yogi. And remember, keep drawing.